Well, he's one of the top scorers in Europe right now, playing in Liga with Lille, and that would be Jonathan David. 27 matches, 19 goals. Uh, what, what is, what's so special about his goals? What is he doing right? Well, first of all, I'd like to thank him because my weekends are great right now watching this kid play every week for Lille. I love it. I'm watching every game. Uh, and, and I feel like I've sat here and talked a lot about Jonathan David throughout this last couple of years. We've all seen what's he getting better at. We've talked at the big board about his left foot finishing. We've talked about the one-touch finishing. What I want to show you now is the five league goals he scored in 2023 so far, and I think they've all got something in common. So when we roll it, what I want to talk to you a little bit about is instincts. And what you can see here, when he comes to receive the ball with his left foot, which has been a massive part of his development, what's just just keep an eye on him as he's in the box. What I want to talk about is instincts and the ability to smell things when they, before they happen. We're going to see a ball develop here. When it goes in the air, we're going to pause it there. D Jonathan David is at the back post in space, but nobody from that scenario would expect this is going to be his goal. Play it through, he gets a touch, and he's there again, the aforementioned left foot, to put it in. And that's just one of the five goals he scored all this, this so far in 2023 calendar year. Again, here we're going to see it develop. Cabela, Cabela's been fantastic in midfield for them, a driving force. Look as he's on the shoulder of the defender there as he goes through. We're going to pause it again now, and David is actually just entering the box with two defenders in front of him, and the ball's about to go into the air. Who wants it more? Who smells danger? Who sees it? Who's got the instinct? David, one-touch finish again to make it 2-0 against Strasbourg. Again, we're going to go through another play here. Again, we'll start it in the midfield and develop. David's heavily involved with Bamba as the striker gets through. See, Bamba goes one-on-one. -on -one. You think he's going to score. David is not there yet. He's going to be in that vision. You don't think he's going to be the one to score. What does he do? Look at that for a finish. Left foot again, one-touch finish in a position you don't expect him to be. He's again finding himself in that position because instincts and the ability to see things happen before they, they do is something I think he's improved dramatically in 2023. This is a marvellous goal, my favourite of the five. He's on the edge of the penalty box. He's squared up. He understands the moment the fullback goes around. Look at that image. You don't expect he's going to get anywhere. Look at his run right away instinctively and he gets his header and something else has improved dramatically on as well by the way is his heading ability that's his fourth we wrap it up with another one another fantastic goal that you don't expect why we'll look at this Bamba gets the ball he looks like the man who's going to score he split the defenders David just hangs out on the edge there he doesn't follow in he understands what's going to happen and then bang the rebound comes out and he smells it again and that Jimmy is part of strikers isn't it smelling that ability to find the goal and he does it better yeah, than most. It's, it's having that instinct uh, he is an out and out striker he can he can and there's no doubt he is, he is world-class, and he's going to get a monster move very, very yeah. soon. But in and around that box, for me, I think he's one of the best. I love the way he plays on shoulders. He's always watching the defenders. As soon as the defender changes his head to look at the ball, he's making a run in behind. He plays on the numbers and looking for the, the back of the jersey because he knows exactly where he's going to shift and move. And he always finds that half a yard in and around that box, whether he's going near post or far post. He's such a clever, instinctive striker. And we're very lucky to have him. Very, yeah. Very, yeah. very lucky. Yeah, I'm glad he stayed there too for another year at Lille because there was rumours of him moving in that summer. And he got that and he stayed and he, and he needs to play. He, he could have gone to a bigger that, club. That will help him. Yeah. That extra year will help it him. It will. But I'm so excited to see where he goes to <laughs> next. And you know what? He's coming in in form. Kyle Lahren, who's also getting the start, coming in in form after making his move. It was not working out at Club Bruges, but he's been looking good in La Liga.